Hey everyone, so we are back in Roswell right now, living in the desert. It is about 106 degrees out right now in our AC and our RV stuff. Unfortunately, the soonest the repair person could get in on Thursday, and right now it is Friday. So it's about a week away of super hot temperatures, so my husband is going to take a look and see if he can fix it. Hopefully, he can get something to work, right? Because we are hot. We're so hot. I got wet shirt, wet hair, just trying to stay cool. It's I'm quiet. wet too. She's wet too. She broke down crying earlier today, frustrating because it's so hot. So, um, yeah, we're going to go check on Forrest right now. He's climbing up on top of the roof to see if he can get to the AC to mess with it, do whatever it is he does. So, let's go check it out. and stuff hopefully <laughs> it's bright up here we also got some horses that like to come visit us for some carrots so the girls will feed them those while we're up here messing around with the air conditioner to him in a flat hand. Which one's the nice one? That one's the brown one. Why is the white one mean? Um, I think it's just like food. <laughs> like, he likes the food and he like... He just gets a little snappy? Yeah, he's like, he wants the food. Hey! Right. <laughs> <Like, yeah. laughs> the brown one is pretty nice. It doesn't try to bite at you? Careful, it might bite hard. I don't know. <laughs> Careful, it's gonna get you. It's gonna try to eat your hair or something. Any luck, baby? Any luck? Don't want me to run and turn it off? Like the the breaker. Watch out, guys, I'm coming down. Hey, horsey. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> I thought he was going to come in that. So I said he wanted me to turn it off here, and then we're going to turn it off down here too. You guys are going to have to get down so that I can get up that ladder. Feed him that. He's gonna get my fingers. <laughs> I don't think they catch like dogs either. It goes to the white one? Yeah. He sees the carrot, he wants it. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Hey! Right oh. there. Hey! Hey, look at me. Right there. Oh, oh, the brown one's gonna get it. No. That's for you. 
You can't see it, that's the problem. Can you this? No, yeah. That's why he's turning his head, I think. Yeah. Hey, here. I'm kind of afraid to do this. I think it's this it too. I would do it with your palm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. Alright, you guys go ahead and hop down. Here, come here, let me see it. Let me, let me try again. Yeah, Try this and drop it. See? Look at this. Right there. It's right there. Right. Look. Look, see this? Ah, okay. oh, he dropped down the other side. I can't help you. Do you think that if you could fix the leak, it would fix it, or is it like, is it like a hose, or? Yeah, it's this hard one. It's all soldered. Ah. Uh. Uh -huh. Bummer. Well, dang. So just so everyone knows, were you able to fix the AC? No. Okay. I was hoping you'd fix it. <laughs> okay. Or find the problem, I found the problem. Alright. Unfortunately, duct tape won't fix a leaking compressor and condenser. Okay, so what will? An AC guy? Well, first you gotta have a new part. Should we tell them, should I call them back and tell them to bring the part so that... You should tell them what's going on, yeah. really hot here. Like hot hot. <laughs> and our AC is still not fixed. We were unsuccessful in our attempts to fix that. Something about a compressor, condenser. The compressor's toast. It's toasted. So tomorrow the plan is to go down to the RV part store and just check out pricing on a new AC and maybe we'll install that before our appointment on Wednesday because we had we made an appointment on Thursday with one company called another company to look, come look at it and they said Wednesday so it's a long time to deal with the heat I don't want to cook I don't want to wash dishes all I want to do is sleep yeah it's pretty hot I have sweat dripping from my kneecap. <laughs> the problem is, is I don't have the stuff to sweat the copper in order to cut the copper lines of the compressor and replace just the top, uh, compressor unit itself and uh, recharge the system with Freon, yeah. which, I mean, I don't know, I'm not an HVAC guy, so... <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> The thought process is maybe just if it's not that big of a cost difference between just the compressor unit and the whole AC unit, buy the whole unit, put it in myself. Just drop that in there. Because they charge $100 an hour to come out and replace the compressor, and I think the compressor is going to be a couple hundred bucks. Then the but labor. if I replace the whole unit, we still got to charge the system probably. Really? Unless it comes charged. Yeah. Which I don't know if it is. So we'll find out more tomorrow, and we will bring you along for that ride.
Oh, I know, it's hot. It's so hot. And then Forrest was looking at the temperatures in Idaho, which are a lovely 64 degrees right now, while we're over here at, what, like 108? Is that where we're at? Yeah. Fans blowing. It just feels like an oven. It just feels like a hot oven. It's like not even worth having. <laughs> All right. Um, I realize you're probably wondering what the deal is with this crap. But in an attempt to keep some of the, the hot air out of here, we went ahead and put all of this stuff over the windows. Put this stuff back. Just try to keep it cooler because the past couple days the air conditioner's kind of been on the fritz. And um, it was just today that it finally stopped working. So in case you were wondering what it's like living in a trailer with a family of four with all of the windows boarded off <laughs> and no AC, it's like living in a dark, dark hole that's super hot and dark. This really does help. <laughs> it does help. If you, if you haven't done it and live in a warm area RV, it's like a must. It is a it's must. It's got really low uh, R value for insulation, but just the reflective properties of it in the window mm -hmm. it keeps the heat from just radiating through these cheap single pane RV windows. So the only reason why it's not dark in here and like that right now is because our AC finally stopped working entirely. So we went ahead and took it all down so that we can open up the windows and get, get some, like cross breeze. Yeah, get some airflow. So, but prior to that, it was all dark in here. I'm just living in a dark hole. How do you feel about that, Squid? Is it a dark hole? <laughs> So it's still hot as c and our air conditioner is still not working, so we are heading to town, just like two seconds away, uh, just to get in some air conditioning areas and check out the um, ACs. Hopefully we can find one, or at least cool down for a little while. Aliens. We're gonna go ahead and buy this AC unit. It costs a thousand dollars and forty nine. Thousand forty nine. Thousand forty nine. Well, we're out, so that sucks. But it'll but give us four more days of of cool air. <laughs> what is comfort worth to you? That's basically what it comes down to. Well, plus it probably costs like four hundred dollars for that technician to come out and replace just the compressor, and then who knows what else will go wrong. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, I think it's worth it. We're in the lovely Roswell downtown area. We're just stopping off to get Forrest a haircut before we go take care of the whole AC situation. So yeah, show you guys a little bit of the Roswell downtown.
So we're back on the trailer and it's still really hot. Um, had to pull my hair back because, oh my gosh, I'm sweating really hard. But we're going to see if we can get that AC unit set up and working so that hopefully we don't have to sweat nonstop. Sure, we didn't. I didn't take my drill down. Oh, I have no idea. Go check, uh, girls. Check okay. in the back of my truck, the big Ford. Uh huh. And uh, see if there's a red case, drill case. Okay. Got it. Up here. It's not in there. Hey, babe. What? Nice haircut. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was longer than I expected it to be. That's what's keeping the AC down. Pull up and then set the new unit in. Bolt this back up, plug it in, it should be oh, I mean, it should be pretty dang easy. If everything goes right. <laughs> I have found sometimes rarely ever does. <laughs> Hopefully that's not just me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it is. He has so much leaky air. Oh my gosh, look at this. Check this out. I'm just going to show our viewers. Okay, see if we can. Let's see here. So, you see that hole right there? Yeah. Uh, That's the duct. But this is, this hole is not supposed to be there. So all the air being supplied, I mean, you can lose a lot through that yeah. huge gap horrible same with this side over here this one's not as bad but there's the duct and then just all this air able to leak through there same with this that's the framing for the roof and all these holes that all the air can just Man. leak out of that hopefully will give more pressure so I'm going to seal up these ones too, seal up everything. Hopefully that will give more pressure so it's not so hot in our back room. Yeah, it gets it gets really, really hot in our back room. Uh, the bathroom lately has been like the coldest room in the house, so people tend to just go in there and sit in there for a while. <laughs> yeah. So when sure. we bought the uh, foam at Home Depot, and this is, you know, it says it's good for electrical penetrations, HVAC, all weather environments and it uh, allows for movement in the foam which is good because it's an RV obviously when you're traveling things move and it's not supposed to crack so I bought this to seal up mm -hmm. all the electrical holes and the big stuff and then the foil tape to tape everything back up up there and get it airtight and sealed up so hopefully we'll have a much colder RV than we've been having
it is. We could decide the pop up inside a little. Hey girls! Yeah. Your friend is here. What? Your friend is here. Where's my carrot? Where's my carrot? <laughs> hey buddy! So what exactly is the plan for how... Oh, okay. The plan is you're going to get me riding on the rails once I'm up there. I don't want to pull it up the rails. Okay. Okay, so you want me to like lift it and tilt it so that it's... No, I want it to come up just like it is, but... So it's going to go up? It's going to grow up like it's... yeah. Okay. Are you going to And then when it starts coming up, stand on the bottom of the ladder so it doesn't kick out or anything. Tape it from the bottom up so the seams overlap as it goes up. That way, if water does get in here, it's going to roll over the seam rather than in it and then it'll just like come down inside the house rather than like in the roof and create a no problem. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. So I'm just peeling these tapes open, and them to him, and he's such a patient man. It's unfortunate how patient he is. I didn't realize you were no longer on your knees. <laughs> yeah, my knees were hurting. Looks pretty good, babe. It's a lot better than it did. What? It looks a lot better than it did. Yeah.
Yeah, I see that. This one's better insulated. Does it say what the grade is or what it? What? Right Cause it, there's some writing right there. So we're trying to find the rating of this air conditioner because um, we took the lady's word for it that this was the correct one. When we were buying it, we told her which one we had, and she was just like, oh yeah, we have it, it's right here. And um, we didn't actually look, which was our bad. So we're just double checking to make sure that it is um, rated to even be able to handle how large our RV is, especially considering this is the only unit we have, and typically RVs that are this size have two. Fifteen thousand BTU. Okay, so it is the same one. British thermal units. British thermal units. So. Same amperage. Same amperage. Okay, so it looks like we're good. It's the same. It's a lot more encapsulated and insulated. And then with sealing all that up, this should be should be like quite a bit better than. Yeah. So hopefully we're actually in a better place because uh, when we were looking at the manual and stuff for our old one, as we were. Um, before we were driving off to go take a look at these, it said that it was only capable of going 20 degrees cooler than it is outside. Which, when you're living in like the 110s, 20 degrees cooler is better, but it's. They're all probably that way. It's just, it'll, uh, it'll probably be. Um, it's just you more, know, better insulated, more sealed up. It's probably it's newer. Our other one was you know, almost 10 years old, which for any AC. Kind of pushing it, up there. especially using it like we do in the heat that we use it in. So I need a light down there from underneath. Okay. Cause you see that? Did you see that gasket? Uh, no, I wasn't looking. I honestly. swear, there's a gasket. Okay, I'll take a look. It needs to. I need to line it up. All right, so I'm gonna go down underneath and look up, and hopefully we can line up this gasket so that we get a good seal. Oh, all right, I'm gonna try to see if I can. Tell. Can you hear me? I can't tell because I can only see the one side being way off. Take it to the right more. Yeah, more. It needs to go up towards the front of the RV. The The front right end needs to go forward more. And then the left, or sorry, the left end needs to go forward more and the right end needs to come back. Man, how big balls is this thing on? <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. So hot. Oh man, that's gonna be so much better. So much better. All the, all the gaps that were in there and holes. I know. It's crazy. Mm, it still is. It's still off a little bit. I know, but it's kind of weird. It's almost like the hole's not cut straight or something. To where it's like I couldn't quite figure out which way to best move it because. Well, what you're saying was about right. I mean, it needs to be one kicked over that way just a touch, and then it's not square. All right. What I want you to do, I'm gonna go back up there. Yeah. And, uh, let me come back down until it's perfect. <laughs> so hot. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, I see how it's caving in. So it's like not only been in the bracket, it's like been in the ceiling material before it's pulling it down. Do you almost need like a sturdier cover piece? Is that the other piece she was talking about that was like 130 bucks? It's this whole thing. Yeah. All of the electrical, all yeah. this, everything. Which is not gonna be sturdier. Alright, I'm gonna turn the breaker back on. Huh? I was just letting everybody know what I was doing here. <laughs> Turning the breaker back on. Alright, the breaker is on. Yeah, the breaker's on. Let's turn it on.
freaking out. Should I try to turn it off and on again? The breaker? Yeah. Oh. I just kicked on. Yeah, Oh, it's blowing hard. That's way harder than the other one's blowing. It's, it's blowing like... <sighs> Where's the AC? It's 20. It's like third one. Is it still wigging out? Yeah. We were getting this E5 air code when we tried to start up the unit and we looked it up and so basically that has to do with the free sensor or a short circuit um, and then Forrest went up there on the roof again and found the cord for the temperature sensor so hopefully installing this will make it work. Can you show where you installed it Ben? On the coils? The temperature sensor is if the coils get too cold and start building up uh, moisture and then freezing, let's shut the unit off. And so, I mean, this is what it is. That's that's the that's the temperature sensor. So you just lay this in by the uh, the coils. Okay. So that was the piece that was already connected to our old old unit. Yeah. So it just connects. One end just sticks by the coils, and then the other end connects to. Maybe you could zoom in where it plugged in at. It plugs in there. Oh, okay. The electrical that box. blue one right there. Okay, so hopefully now we'll re. We'll, he just flipped on right there. He just flipped on the breaker, and it's working. It's working. Oh my god. It's still hot right now. I mean, it's blowing way harder. Yeah, I just heard it kick on though. So okay. it should start to cool down now. Yeah, and ours, I don't know if it works, it's probably too loud for it to, YouTube to really hear, but um, ours blew not nearly as hard. This is like really blowing, so hopefully we'll have even better AC than we did when it was working. Not only will it work, it's going to work <laughs> So we just got done eating out, and we're gonna see hopefully if our RV is nice and cool. Okay, hey, hey. close it, close it. Get inside, get inside. It's nice and cool in here, huh? Uh huh. Uh oh.